Hello, our dear pupils! Welcome to our science class. Today's lesson is all about recognizing useful and harmful materials. And this is based on science now. Let's start! Let's begin today's discussion with this one. Matter is everything around us. All the things that we can found in our environment that have mass or the amount of material in an object and occupy space are examples of matter. Everything that we see, touch, feel, or smell are considered matter. Now, look at the picture on your screen. Can you give me some examples of matter? Very good! The house, the road, car, school building, tree, and even the clouds are examples of matter. Materials have several properties that can make them different from one another. Some types of abilities that can make them good materials for producing useful products when others can brought harm. Let's discuss some of those properties. First, we have brittleness. It is the property of a material to be easily broken into pieces when chopped or hit by a hard object. Wine glass is an example of brittle material. Next, we have hardness. It is the ability of a material that make it withstand pressure. Materials that are made up of wood, like this one, is an example of hard material. Third, we have flammability. It is the ability of a material to ignite or catch fire easily. Paper is an example of flammable material. Fourth, we have elasticity. It is the ability of a material to be stretched and return to its original shape without breaking. Rubber band is an example of elastic material. Next, we have porosity. It is the ability of a material that allow water and gases to pass through it. Towel is an example of porous material. And last, we have malleability. It is the property of a material to be hammered into thin sheets until the desired shape is attained. Necklace that is made up of gold is an example of malleable material. Now, when can we say that a material is useful or harmful? Useful material A material is considered useful when it serves a purpose, can be reused or recycled, and can be dumped shape into the landfill without causing any harm. There are many useful materials that can be found in our home, such as kitchen tools, personal care products, and cleaning materials. Can you name some? I heard it right! Notebook, umbrella, and even the frying pan that your mother used in cooking are examples of useful materials. Useful materials may have the following characteristics. First, durable, or they can exist for a long time without significant deterioration. Next, hard or firm. Flexible, 
or they can be bent without breaking. Elastic, or they can return to its original size and shape after being stretched. And they are water, heat, or acid resistant. How about harmful material? A material is considered harmful when it can bring hazards if not properly used. There are some materials in our home that should be handled properly and kept out of children's reach because they can bring harm to our health and even to our environment. Knife, insect spray, and gasoline are examples of harmful materials. Harmful materials may have the following characteristics. Flammable, or they can catch fire easily. Toxic or poisonous, that when absorbed or ingested, can cause serious damage or even death. Corrosive, or can attack or chemically destroy exposed body tissue, or can damage skin, eyes, or respiratory tract. Sharp or pointed, that can cut skin or can cause wounds or injury, and can pollute the environment when they are dumped straight into the landfill because of the chemicals that they contain. Now, let's try! Let us identify if the given material is useful or harmful. First, we have sugar. Is it useful or harmful? Very good! Sugar is an example of useful material. How about blade? Correct! Blade is an example of harmful material. Remote control. Correct. Remote control is an example of useful material. Next, we have blanket. Nice. Blanket is also useful. Next, we have drain batteries. Very good! The answer is harmful. How about bleach? Correct! Bleach is an example of harmful material. Last one we have rubber shoes. Great! Rubber shoes is an example of useful material. Our dear pupils, I want you to remember the following. Matter is found everywhere and household materials are useful but if they are not properly used, they become harmful. Now, get your pen and your paper and let's apply what you have learned. What you need to do is to classify whether the materials below are useful or harmful by putting a check mark on the appropriate column. Number one, we have all colorful magazines made into a bag. Number two, expired medicine in the cabinet. Number three, candy wrappers turn into flowers. Number four, leftover food from restaurants turn into fertilizer. And number five, disinfectant bottles thrown everywhere. You have 20 seconds to answer all these five questions. Your timer starts now! <music> Thanks 
is up. Let's check your work. Number one, the answer is useful. Number two, the answer is harmful. Number three, the answer is useful. Number four, the answer is useful. And number five, the answer is harmful. Do you get a perfect score? Very good! This is your science teacher reminding you all to maximize materials usefulness and be careful in handling harmful materials. That's all for today. See you on our next discussion. Have a nice day!